Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today, we've got a rabbit that we got. Uh, it's been in the refrigerator. I'm gonna wash it off right quick, clean it up a little bit, and I'll show you the way that I like to, uh, well, that kind of stuff. Boy, that's hard to get rid of. <laughs> it's done stuck to our... Good. Lord. Anyway, we're going to show y'all the way that we put this in the oven and bake it. I've got a pan that's got a, a lid on it right here. And uh, make a lot of racket with that. And show y'all the way we're going to cook it. So I'm going to get him over here and get it washed. And then we'll get pan. All right, we got it washed up. And uh, we're going to, what we do right here is just go ahead and we put him in this pan. And uh, we're going to do him whole. Now this is going to be real similar to the way that I did the squirrels, except we're just basically going to bake this. So we're going to cut up some vegetables and stuff. Uh, but we got our, I got a garbage can right here I'm chopping them ends off into. In case you didn't know, I ain't just throwing them on the floor. I'm gonna just cut these carrots into slices right off in there. I just try to be careful because I, I have a hard time with carrots. When I'm cutting them up, they go to flying everywhere. And that's probably because my knife may not be sharp enough. A lot of times when you, if you slice instead of just mashing through it, it don't do it as bad. But we're going to bake this so it's going to get into a, to where you can uh, fork it up. And we got some celery. Now I am going to try something that I have not tried before. When I was scratching around in the refrigerator, I found some oyster mushrooms that I had stuck in there that I found in one of my previous videos. So they've been in the refrigerator for a mm, week or so, and they still in pretty good shape. Oh, that one ain't. It was a dirty one anyway. We're going to discard it. I know y'all thought I'd pick it on up and put it in there. But I got more than what I need, and I just need to do something with them. So I'm going to lay these in here pretty much whole like this. I don't know how they're going to taste in this, the way I'm going to season this. Now that I am going to cut into some, that's a little bit large. But that is a meaty mushroom. Uh, and I got two onions. I don't like the way the end of that looks either. A lot of times I cut this stuff up, but I piled everything on my cutting board, so I don't like that. And I got all my potatoes over there. But now, I like carrot. What you need, Mr. Brody? You wanna be on you wanna be on YouTube? Wave well, out of my on the camera. Tell them hey. Tell them whose house this is. Is it Brady's house? <laughs> I can't read it. That's not I am gonna put two whole onions in here. Cut up of course. I try to stuff some onion up in that chest cavity of that. Brody probably shaking the camera. He's working on the Instapot down there right at the bottom of the tripod. Tripod. <laughs> So if the camera goes to shaking, just know he's dismantling something. 
<laughs> you working on that? <laughs> he likes to work on stuff. Well, this onion over here about got me balling. That new balling? Yeah, balling. <laughs> Y'all live the biggest carrots that I've ever seen. Somebody had a good year with carrots. They, they wasn't familiar with fertilizer and they found a sack this year. <laughs> and they fed more poured it on them carrots. How big them carrots are? We need to save one for a snowman. It snowed twice in Mississippi last year. We might get one this year. Well, that's one of the reasons that I take a carrot. and split it like that before I go to cut it up when they're that big because if, if you don't they'll roll off everywhere. That may be about enough carrot. Big as them are. If you slice more than you just mash down, they don't do all that, but I like to just mash down. Okay, and I've got my potatoes right here. Now these are the potatoes that we grew put under the smokehouse out there, so they was quite nasty. So I've got them in that pan of water. I've been frowned on that I don't wash stuff good enough for some people. I didn't bother to tell them it might have got washed off camera. I just let them think it didn't get washed. <laughs> it didn't hurt them none to think yet. Brody, what are you dismantling? What are you working on? I'll have to get the camera and shine it down in a minute because he's got the ninja instapot scattered all over the floor down here. He, he's working on it. I don't know what was wrong with it, but he'll have it fixed momentarily. Are you pretty good help? Huh? Are you pretty good help? <laughs> he was helping me work on something the other day and I kept telling him, you good help, you good help. So in a little bit he said, I good help. <laughs> Best help that he's had, ain't you? That's probably enough. Okay. I have to kind of wipe up as I go else. I'll have a mess made that they can't none of us clean up, you know. Let me look back here for some seasoning. I'm looking for seasoning. Oh. I, I looking for garlic salt, Brody. Garlic salt. Huh? And Brother Tony Satchery. Huh? Can you something? Yeah, I'm hunting something. I, 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 I. We got the Brother Tony's lemon pepper. 
garlic salt, Where's my lemon? My lemon. And we got some oregano. We got lime juice. I usually use lemon juice. We got some garlic. And a lemon. I don't know if you can see over him. He's fixing to steal something. Y'all watch him now. I don't know what he's after over there, but he's after something. I'm building something. You building something? What are you building? Huh? That's Tony, brother Tony Satcher. We getting this garlic. I'm just gonna get me a few pieces of it. Oh, I'm not gonna just overload. And I had some minced garlic in a jar. I could have used. Leave my lid alone. I don't want you to dirty up this lid. Let me keep it. Okay. What are you a standing on? A bucket. That ain't a bucket. That is a pot. I know y'all really would like to see what he's into. <laughs> what Brody is into. What is Brody into down there? Because he wants to be a YouTube legend. He's cooking, Mama. My Lord, he's he's a cooking. All right, I'm gonna lay a couple of them slices off in there. Y'all see that, right? I love lemonade. I found that this recipe don't work on all game. That lemon goes with a rabbit for some reason. Oh. And then I'm gonna add some lime juice. I mean, I, I'm telling y'all, I like it. It's really good on fish. All right, at this point here, we need some water. I don't want it drowned it in water. In other words, I don't want it floating in a tub of water, but I don't want it to get dried out too much. So a lot of those vegetables has got water in it, and we've added some lemons. So we've got, I've got about, I don't know. And there ain't no set amount, but I'm not gonna put all of that, so. Eight ounces or so, maybe, I don't know. And then put your seasoning after you've added your water because otherwise you're going to just wash all your seasoning down into the bottom of you. And that warms it up pretty good if you ain't familiar with, with Brother Tony. Oregano. I like the flavor of oregano. You can use cilantro, thyme. You use kind of whatever you want to use. This is just... Showing you what I like to cook with. Now, I'm, I, they say a lot of men are like this. I know I like garlic salt and lemon pepper, and I'm, I'm good to go. And I like it, and I put a lot of it. And then I'm going to move my vegetables around here. And pull them back where I can get this onto the rabbit itself. And then I'll push my vegetables back somewhat. 
And then we're going to stop right there and we're going to get the garlic salt. Ah, that leg right there don't want to stay down in there. All right, we up the temperature there. We're just going to slide this in the oven. Ooh, no, we not. No, we not. Somebody has moved the racks around. I don't recommend you do this when it's scald and hot. Now we're going to let this cook about an hour and a half, so we're going to be sitting here letting that cook. We'll get back with you when it's ready to come out. We check it, take a bite. So hang tight. All right, y'all. Let's see if this has been about an hour and a half. That's generally about what how long I cook it. I just like it to get good and tender. Oh. Ooh. Need something to lay that in, I guess. I had them drawers right there fixed, but there's a little fella about yay high that gets in there and pulls on them. All right, y'all look at that. Let's see how tender it is. I really could like it to be a tad bit tender, but I am a tad bit hungry. See how this chicken, I mean, this this is an oyster mushroom. Hope I didn't call it chicken of the wood. So, so. Vegetables are soft. It's very much done, but I really wanted it. I'm gonna cook it a little more. Just because I want to, I want it, see how that's not just pulling apart? We want a little more done than that. And it may be because this pot don't seal like what I, I a lot of times I cook it in a aluminum pan, you know, the tinfoil type cheap throwaway pans and cover them with tinfoil. But I wanted to use this. We're going to let it cook about, I don't know, 15, 20 more minutes. All right, we let this cook about 15, 20 more minutes. We fixing to, we fixing to dig into it one way or another. Oh yeah, you see how that's coming on apart now? I think Brody's about to get wound up. Yeah. See, 15 minutes made a lot more difference in the way this looks. See how that's coming apart? That's one of the things I like on my rabbit. I want it to be able to just pull it apart. I don't want it tough. So we fixing to get us a plate fixed to this. Sit down and have us a bite. All right, we got our plate loaded down here and we fix to see what it tastes like. Dear Lord, we're so thankful for this food. We pray that you'd bless it to nourish our body. In Jesus' name we ask you, amen. Y'all might have noticed we did get a haircut since our last video. I was editing that squirrel hunting video, and I got to look at them sideburns done come out and curled forward. Boy, I done got to looking ragged.
It ain't even cold weather yet. Now I didn't cook the rice. I think I see my help coming. You think you want to try some of this rabbit? He said, mm hmm. That's it, baby. Get something him. And eat this without setting it out on the counter like he did last time. Yeah, last time we had us a plate. Old Brody's got him a bite and spit it back out on the counter. Come this way. You ain't on camera, man. Daddy wants to get where them folks can look at you. I know you like your meat the best, so there's just some rabbit. Maybe warm now. Is it warm? That's pretty good. We can eat it now. Hey, is that, you talking to the camera or not? Look, you got to talk to them people on there. <laughs> Tell them it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. There's you another bite, buddy. Tell them, man, yeah, it's pretty good. We're going to see about these mushrooms. Daddy put mushroom in there. We ain't never cooked in that like that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brody won't bite that mushroom. <coughs> you okay? <laughs> Are you all right? You got to chew it up, buddy. Are you okay? <laughs> Get a drink of Daddy's tea. No, we're gonna let him die right here on camera. Easy. There's a lot of tea in that jug. Easy. All right. You gonna make it? Mm-hmm. All right. You gonna bite that mushroom? Mm -hmm. Now look, bite it off. Don't stick a whole thing in your mouth. He likes to take whatever you get him and just the whole thing. That's oyster mushroom. That cat's fish. <laughs> we didn't catch fish. We got a rabbit. We caught that rabbit. Hey, running. You don't like it? No. He didn't like it. All right. Well, just leave it laying right there. Don't smear it everywhere. You want a carrot? He usually likes carrots. The carrot was the first thing you spit out on the counter the other day when we had the squirrel video. He eat that one though. That one was better. And he likes onion. But he prefers his onion raw. <laughs> you want some onion? Mm hmm Okay. Here you go. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> he refers to himself in the third person. <laughs> mm. We've had a busy day today, Henry. That's good. That's good, yeah. Get you another carrot. Get in your carrot? Yeah, whichever carrot you want. Okay. You want... That's onion. Eat the onion. <laughs> Dad caught fish with today. He caught it. He caught it? He's telling fishing tales. You telling them kind of tales we tell after church on on Wednesday and Sunday night? See, after church on that, Sunday night, Wednesday night, whenever, I guess any time after church, me and all stand around outside and tell tales. What's that? That's celery. Bite it. Don't just stick your whole thing in your mouth, you bite it. Mm, that's good. <laughs> that's it's good, good Mama. Is that good? No, stick whole thing in. Look, Daddy should have got you a plate, shouldn't he? Put food on there. That's, that's what we'll do. Here's Brody, a southern mud pottery plate. And Daddy's going to get you some pieces of meat off this Look, back trail. You don't need to eat that. Dad, Polly? Got him some taters, and we'll get him some carrots. I'm going to get him a 
potato. I got you some potato. Oh, give me a potato. And I give me a potato. I'm trying to give some small pieces of meat because if you give Brody big pieces of meat, he sticks your whole thing in his mouth. Yeah. Alright, there's you a southern mud pottery plate. Let Dad tear that in too. We don't want you over here choking on camera. <laughs> Is it good? That. Yeah, that's he, that that's a cake that? plate. Um, that's a grouch. Hey, if you're real sweet, you make him talk mama into fixing you something to drink. But anyway. Man, that is spot on. <laughs> that extra 15, 20 minutes we cooked that made a lot of difference. But being that that's covered up, holds that moisture in that meat. It don't get dried out. I like fur. Mm, I can't even talk. You might me? need me a teleprompter. Teleprompter? Yeah. My, like Brandon's got. <laughs> but anyway, they are. Uh, you hold that lid over there, holds the moisture into that meat. Squirrels, I like them fried probably the best. I cooked that one in that Dutch oven the other day. But this rabbit, I prefer it this way. I ain't crazy about fried rabbit. I don't know, it just. Not my thing. Now, I know everybody's going to have their own special way that they go, oh, you need to do it this way. And and that's the way most cooking things are. I guess he's practicing his evil laugh. That's yep. funny. Isn't that funny? <laughs> and there is. What? And there is. And there is. And there is. Yeah, I don't know that one. Mm, I never is. <laughs> never is. Nervous. Nervous. Yeah, he made me hungry. You want to tell them who we listened to the other day? Tell them. Tell one of them tall tales. <laughs> He's trying to see the viewfinder. <laughs> you see Brody on there? Did we listen to Jerry Cliver the other day? Mm-hmm. Is he funny? Mm-hmm. Can you go, oh, shoot this thing? <laughs> <laughs> He's a monkey now. I should break it. I should break it. And Worcester Mushrooms is good in there. I was a little leery about that. I couldn't break it in. Broke it? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I, I may be drop it. You might drop it. Right, Roscoe done slipped over here wanting him a bite. On your bite? Hey, buddy. There's my leg bone. Y'all don't give y'all's dogs cooked bones. I raised him on him so his stomach could hold up to he it pretty won't good. Onion. He won't onion. He you think he wants an onion? Mm -hmm. I bet he don't. He did it. He said it. <laughs> Lucky won't it. Lucky won't it? No, uh-uh. -uh. I'm not feeding onions to my dog. I won't eat it. I like them. You like them? Yeah. Give Roscoe a bite. <laughs> Give Roscoe a bite. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank y'all for watching our videos. We just wanted to show you the recipe that we use on baking a rabbit. Me and Brody's going to sit here and clean these plates up pretty good and drink this jug <laughs> of sweet tea. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time on Spirit of the Outdoors. Yeah.